The KB5-064-489 update addresses an issue that prevented some virtual machines from starting when virtualization-based security was enabled. It affected VMs using version 8.0, a non-default version, where VBS was offered by the host. In Azure, this applies to standard, non-trusted launch general enterprise VMs running on older VM SKUs use. The problem was caused by a secure kernel initialization issue. Here are the solutions for this error. First, open the Start menu. Open Settings. Open System. Open Troubleshoot. Open Other Troubleshooters. Locate Background Intelligent Transfer Service. Press Run. Select Yes to diagnose your issues. Wait for your PC to be scanned. Press Yes if the troubleshooter fixed your issues. Now close the troubleshooter. First, open the Start menu. Open Settings. Open System. Open Troubleshoot. Open Other Troubleshooters. Locate Windows Update. Press Run. Click on I can't download, install or uninstall an update. Select Yes to diagnose your issues. Wait for your PC to be scanned. Press Yes if it resolved your issues. Now update your PC. First open the Start menu. Type CMD. Right-click Command Prompt and select Run as Administrator. Press Yes. Type SFC slash Scano. Press Enter. Wait for Windows to be repaired. Type Exit and then press Enter. First open a folder. Open your C drive. Open the Windows folder. Open the Software Distribution folder. The Download folder. Press Continue. This will delete the corrupted Windows Update files. Close the Windows and run Windows Update.
First open the start menu. Type CMD. Right click command prompt and select run as administrator. Press yes. Type DISM slash online slash cleanup image slash restore health. Press enter. Wait for your PC to be repaired. Once it finished, close the window and restart your PC. First open the start menu. Type services. Open services. Locate the Windows Update service. Right-click Windows Update and select Properties. In Startup Type, select Automatic. Open the Recovery tab. In second failure, select Restart the services. Press Start or Restart if the service is enabled. Now run Windows Update. First, Open the link that you'll find in the description of this video. Locate Create Windows 11 Installation Media. Click on Download Now. Double-click the media installer you just downloaded. Press Yes. Press Accept. Select your language in addition and then press Next. Select ISO file. Press Next. Select your download folder. Name the file Windows 11. Press Save. Wait for Windows 11 to be downloaded. Press Finish. Double-click the Windows 11 file. Double-click Setup. Press Yes. Press Next. Wait for Windows to update, this might take a while. Press Accept. Select to keep your personal files. Press Install. Wait for Windows 11 to be upgraded to the latest version.